Welcome to the Philippines. The Philippines is one of the most beautiful countries that we visited, with some of the friendliest people that we've ever encountered during our travels. We just spent a month in the Philippines and are ready to share with you our top three destinations off the beaten path. Some of these places may take a little bit more work to get to, but trust us, once you're there, it's completely worth it. Traveling locally has been one of the highlights of our trip to the Philippines. After all, it's not only about the destination, but it's about the journey. In case you're wondering, this is Trina and Pierre from InspiredBy12.com. We recently left our lives in New York City to travel the world in 12 countries in 12 months. We're documenting our travels on this channel, so if you'd like to follow our adventures, please go ahead and subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Number three on our list, Bohol. Some of you may be in shock to hear that Bohol is on our list, but please let us explain. We're not talking about Alona Beach, Tarsiers, or Chocolate Hills, which are great places to visit. However, these places are on every tourist must-do list. Our advice is to rent a scooter and head towards the main island to a region called Dimiao. Dimiao has some of the most breathtaking waterfalls that we've seen in the Philippines. We went during midday and had periods where there was no one but us swimming around, climbing up ropes, and swimming from one end to the other. We spent hours here because it was like having our own private natural water park. Number two on our list is Gigantes Islands. Truth be told, we didn't even hear about the Gigantes Islands until we stepped foot in the Philippines. We have to go through Iloilo or take a boat from Bantay and Allen to Estancia to get here, but it's completely worth it. Our island hopping tour of Gigantes took us through one of the most diverse set of islands we've seen. There's islands with rock formations sticking out, there's another island with a rock shape like a bread loaf, and one of my favorites, a saltwater lagoon only accessible during high tide. We stayed in Gigantes Norte for two nights, which is the main island where the locals live. This place is just starting to pop up on the tourist radar, so we're very grateful that the locals have opened up their homes and magical island to us. Pierre and I were also really impressed to see that the tour operators are supporting the community by rotating different boatmen on each day of the island tours so that income can be more widely distributed. Here you have it, the winner on our list, number one is Shargao. Okay, not the infamous Cloud9, but we're talking about Sakuro. Some people have called this the El Nido of the South, but Sakaro is a special place in its own right. Our tip is to head to a place called Sahutan Cove National Park, which is really like paradise on earth. There are literally hundreds of little islets covered in lush green trees. This truly was the most beautiful place that we've been to. You'll have to fly to Surigao City or Shargao and then take a private long tail boat to get here, but it's definitely worth the trek. We spent the day paddling around crystal clear blue lagoons, snorkeling with stingless jellyfish, cliff jumping, and exploring caves. Pierre even had to try at spear fishing. Luckily, our boatman was much better at it than Pierre was. Let us know which one of these places is your favorite and why not share it with the person that you'd love to go with. If you'd like to recommend some of your off the beaten path destination to our viewers, please feel free to leave us a comment. If you're new to us, like our content, and want to support us, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to follow our adventure. After packing up our things and leaving New York City, we're slowly traveling to 12 countries in 12 months. Make sure to check out inspiredby12.com for the latest travel and imagery to inspire your next trip. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye. Let us know which one's your favorite. Yes, Trina. To our first local uh, Filipino beer, actually.